Hi, it's Johnny B and welcome to McKinney ISD Sports Talk week four of the 2014 season and happy to be talking to coach Mike Fetchy of the McKinney North Bulldogs. Mike, first of all, you come off that bye week and when you're playing so good, you start out three and oh, how do you feel about that bye week? Because sometimes when you're playing that good, you wish you were still playing? Yeah, sure. I mean, you want to carry the momentum you had and, and I thought we did that. I really did. I thought we came out there the night uh, in the first half and had that momentum been carrying over and uh, played well in the first half. Uh, you know, credit to Wiley's, they made some adjustments in the second half that, that we didn't really respond to too well. But, yeah, you know, you want to ride that wave. And I, and I thought we did, to be honest with you. When you, uh, over the last two years, if it's any indication, when Wiley East and McKinney North get together, you know what I say to people? Don't leave, <laughs> even if it's 35 nothing, one right. way or the other. Right. After the uh, fourth quarter last year, if you remember, I mm -hmm. think it was under two minutes, you were down by 11. Raul De La Rosa with two big field goals to win yeah. that. You did come out of the gate with 14 real quick points. Yeah, we did. You know, and you're right about that. Coach Lepsis and I laughed about that. You know, the last four years we played, you know, we beat them four years ago pretty handily. The next year we got way up on them, and they came back and beat us. And then, of course, last year was the back and forth uh, one that we ended up winning. And then last, you know, last Thursday night we're up, and they come back and get us. So it's always an exciting ball game when we play those guys. But, uh, you know, it was a tough one, tough loss for our kids, tough loss for us, but it's one that we need to use to our advantage. You know, we need to learn lessons, you know, and, and uh, we need to learn you got to make plays in critical situations. That's what it came down to was about five or six critical plays in the ball game that we did not make plays and they did that was the difference. And in this district in 10-5A, that's what it's going to be every single week. You got Ronald Jones, I think his first carry, he got one yard, mm -hmm. and that was about it for the rest right. of the night when you take a look at these numbers. 38 for 393, mm -hmm. six TDs, but he'd be the first to tell you that along that offensive line, he can't break out unless there's a seam for him yeah. to run. Yeah, they did a great job up front. They really did. Uh, you know, Gage Thomason and, and those guys up front really did a phenomenal job of opening up some lanes and getting him to the second level. Some stuff we hadn't been really able to do a whole lot of in the prior three games, and we were able to do that. And uh, you know, that, that look was there, that run look was there for us, so that's what we took. And, you know, uh, 38 carries is quite a bit, but, you know, that's what he, uh, we needed him to do, and he did a great job with that. Speaking of that offensive line, you lost some pretty uh, important seniors to graduation. Mm -hmm. That was one of your strongest points last year, so you had to replace them. What kind of grade would you give them as they've come along early? I, the the one thing about them is they've improved vastly each week. I, I think... You know, everywhere on our football team, we're seeing improvements everywhere, but not we're seeing giant leaps and improvements with those guys. And that comes with them playing more together. That comes with them understanding more together. Uh, you know, uh, they've gotten better each week, and they're going to continue to have to do that. Uh, you know, and that starts today, starts with workout today. We talked a lot about that this weekend with our kids, about how workouts are so important that we prepare ourselves in the way we need to prepare ourselves, and those guys have been doing that. And credit to them, credit to Coach Leaf. Uh, they're getting better, and they need to continue that for Key sure. Key in the game, 22 fourth quarter points by Wiley right, East right. Uh, late in the game. That's why we talk when North and Wiley East play, yeah. don't leave early. Does that concern you a little bit that you've been giving up some leads? Yeah, it, that did. There's no doubt. You know, I mean, you can you can go back to, you know, their 22 points, you know, it's, it's, offense puts the ball on the deck, and they take one back, and they score on that. So, yeah, it's 22 points, but really it's 14 defensively. Uh, you know, we, we didn't finish it off. We didn't finish it off. We had every chance in the world to finish it off, and we didn't do it. Uh, you know, and we need to learn from that. That's the thing is we, you know, we're, we're done with that game. It's past us. Let's move on, but let's learn from it too. Let's go back and identify these pivotal moments that we didn't make plays, that we should have made plays, and we've been making those plays. And if you don't make those plays, you're going to lose against quality people. And from here on out, all we play is quality people. So we've got to learn from it, and I think our kids will. I think we'll bounce back just fine. Let's take a look at the uh, highlights from uh, Thursday night at Ron Poe Stadium with Wiley East and McKinney North. And uh, here you are on offense and uh, getting started with uh, yeah, just pass out in the flat. Yeah, out there to Gabe. You know, that was there early, and, and that's a big third down conversion right there in the first drive of the game. Uh, you know, and you can see Gage Thompson right there just bulldoze that end over, and Ron will go right behind him. Uh, you know, they did some good things and, and up front, and, uh, and Ronald ran the ball well. You know, another thing that really impresses me, there's Ronald with that first to fourth gear that he has. Yeah. That's really impressive. Your wide receivers block really well, too. They do. They do. Coach, Coach uh, Johnson, Coach Hug, those guys do a phenomenal job of making that a high importance. It's a great play by Anthony Grogan on a really quality wide receiver uh, in the Wyatt kid. You know, Wyatt had some catches, but none of them were down the field. They were all little flips out to him and things, but did a great job. But, yeah, our receivers, 
we spend a lot of time on blocking, and, and as you can see right there, there's, there's you know, Brennan Harris, I think, is who that is. Or Curvin, that's Curvin Park, excuse me, doing a great job of blocking down the field, and it springs him. Impress you too, Ronald, with his second. He's so good, but a lot of that he earns too. You know, he second does. and third efforts and getting out there. He does. He does a great job of getting his pad level down for a guy that's, you know, like right there using his offhand to a stiff arm and does a lot of those things that, that really good backs do. And, and, you know, we're glad he does those things because it benefits us greatly. Defensively, how would you rate? You, you guys are getting to the ball. I, I, yeah. I agree with you. It just comes down to when you need to make that play, you got to make that yeah, play. Yeah, sure, sure. I thought we did a good job. I mean, we played really, really well in the first half. You know, caused a turnover too, and played really good run defense. Got our fits. Uh, you know, they came out, and did a few things with some motion and things like that. This is a great play, great call by Coach Wheelock. Stunt right into it, and you know, almost get a safety right there, but. You know, and then, you know, I think we're fixing to get an interception right here. Taylor Jones has great coverage on this kid, and, you know, high points the ball right there. That's, that's how you want it done. Uh, but, you know, it just broke down in critical plays. You know, they had a third and 17. We not only let them convert a first down, but they got a touchdown off of a screen pass and just different things like that. But, you know, great pass breakup right there by Bryce. And, you know, we did some good things, and we're doing good things. We just got to be more consistent on the critical situations. Uh, is what got us the other night. How would you uh, take a look at your special teams? Some things there that yeah. you need to improve? <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, I'm in charge of those this year. And, uh, you know, our, our kickoff coverage the other night was atrocious. And we will fix that. I will fix that starting today. Uh, you know, we're playing okay on special teams. Not, not as, now, this is pretty good. This is a block. Kobe Spivey blocks an extra point. Grogan scoops it and scores it for two points. Uh, that's huge because they just scored. And now all that momentum they just had from that score – it goes away, and now it goes back to us. And that's a big deal. Made it a 10-point uh, lead right there when we did that. Uh, we've got to play better on special teams. You know, we've got, we've got great athletes, and we just got to do a better job of that. This is a great catch by Curvin Parks. Great fake by Nick, yeah, too. He really fake. rode Ronald Jones yeah, great there. Great fake by Curvin. Great f I mean, by Ronald and Nick, you're right. Great. That was a big play. That was one of the times we really got the ball down the field vertically. Uh, this is a, a good run right here by him. This may be about carry number 30. <laughs> or 35, somewhere in there. Uh, you can see as he's kind of cramping, uh, cramping his way into the end zone there. Um, but all in all, you know, like I could say, we, we did some really good things. And, and there's, like I say, it really did come down to about four or five, six plays uh, that we just didn't play. We just didn't make the play. And, you you and we play in a tough that. district, too. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no week off, even with the teams that may be at the bottom. They're, they're trying to get some momentum and yeah. beat you. So you got to yeah. go on the road. Right. You're looking at Prosper. Prosper comes off a win against Sherman. Uh, road games are very key this year. They in are. District. They're very key. You know, when you look at our schedule, you know, we, we have Wiley East at home. We have Wiley at home. We have Lovejoy at home. We have Denison at home. Those are our four home games. On the road, we, we obviously go to Prosper this week. Um, you know, we, we play McKinney High at home, uh, with a visitor at Ron Poe. Uh, but this is, this is a critical game for us. We're at 0-1 in district. We're in the bottom half of this thing right now. We got to go put ourselves back in the mix and go over and play a very quality, very well-coached, playing hard, prosper football team. That's a big, big game for us this early in the, in the race. Coach Mike Fetchy, as always, thanks for your thanks, time. Thanks, Johnny. To Appreciate see you. you. Coach Mike Fetchy, the McKinney North Bulldogs on McKinney ISD Sports Talk.